from Suresh Kangar University. And the subject is organic production technology. And today we are going to start about accreditation and certification of organic products. So, uh, why we need the certification of organic products and why we require the certification or aggregation of organic products. So, in this, we will discuss about uh, first of all what is organic farming, their concept, objectives, characteristics, and their ethics. After that, what are the quality control standards? What is accreditation, definition, the residencies, standard definition, their principle, what is inspection, what is certification, what is internal control system, what is national program, what is certification agencies, etc. So first is concept of organic farming. So the modern agriculture largely depends on the use of fossils, fuels which based on inputs such as chemical fertilizer. Labor saving but energy intensive farm machinery while application of such high input technologies has undoubtedly increased production and labor efficiency. So there is a growing concern about the adverse effects on soil productivity and environmental quality. So the generally accepted organic rules prohibited use of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, growth regulators, livestock, feed additives and stress on long term soil management. So there is the use of local resources for nutrient supply and control of pest and diseases which restricting external input to the beer minimum. So it is soil building mechanism to keep the soil alive. Keeping soil alive is the primary concern of organic farming. So in organic farming, soil and not the crop are fed it is conversion of soil from non-living to living. That means organic farming which increase the uh, which increase the number of microbes in the soil. So uh, is what is organic versus natural organic in which the toxic persistent like pesticides in organic uh, these are not allowed uh, in natural they antibiotics in organic farming are not natural
enhance the biological cycles within farming system involving microorganisms soil flora and fauna plants and animals to give our livestock condition of life that allow them to perform all aspects of their innate behavior so to avoid all forms of pollution that may result from agricultural techniques so to maintain the genetic diversity of agriculture system and its surrounding including the plants and wildlife habitat and to allow agricultural users and adequate returns and satisfaction from their work including safe drinking water then characteristics of organic farming like maximum sustainable use of resources minimal use of purchased inputs only as complementary to local resources ensuring the basic biological function of soil water nutrients then maintain the diversity of plant and animal species as a basis for ecological balance and economic stability so creating an alternative overall landscape which give satisfaction to the local people then increasing crop and animal diversity in the form of polycultures agroforestry systems integrated crop livestock systems etc to minimize the risk after that uh, like ethics of organic farming so ethics of organic farming there is the chemicalization excess irrigation depletion of soil moisture depletion of depletion of organic carbon and organic matter content in soil so all are again the ethics of organic farming organic farming is not a goal to be attained and it is an ongoing process it is a journey rather than destiny it is an ongoing process it is a journey other than destiny
so why organic so first is healthy food like it contain non toxic substances and safe natural and good in taste it takes care of environment concerns of farming and it is sustainable and environmental friendly production system that offers cultural benefits then what are the quality control standard so in order to assure the consumer that a product is uh, produced organically a kind of quality control is needed so all organic farms are visited at least once a year by certifying inspector to check the quality standard are met or not organic quality is based on four keys they are accreditation standard inspection and certification so first is accreditation accreditation there is the guarantees that the certification program is competent to carry specific task authoritative body defines the policies standard and checks whether a certification is a system is operating according to the standard then accreditation agencies the national accreditation body has designated six accreditation agencies so they are APEDA that is agriculture and processed food products export development authority another is coffee board which is in bangalore in 1942 board in kolkata 1953 spice board in kochi in 1987 coconut board in kochi 1981 directorate of cashew and cocoa development board in kochi 1981 so in turn these accreditation agencies have inspection and certification agencies so these agencies <coughs> directly contact to the farmers organic input producers processors and marketing agencies standard standard are rules standard are rules of production for organic agriculture so they determine the production process not the production quality so within the ecological and social environment throughout which the product emerges so there are standards at various levels like regional national international standards after that principles of standards crop production so uh, first is there is the conversion conversion will takes the time 24 to 
six months. So during this period, all requirement to be followed, like seed, planting material to be organic or chemically not treated, because in organic farming the chemicals are not allowed. No synthetic input used directly or indirectly, like fertilizer, pesticides, or hormones. All inputs to be of natural and organic origin or naturally mined minerals as per the permitted and not permitted list. So, using natural cycles best management practices to avoid the diseases and waste. So in case of inputs are used, they shall be organic, no genetic modified organism. After that, uh, the principles of standard livestock. So landless animal husbandry is not allowed. There is conversion 3 to 24 months. During this period, all requirements to be followed. Breeds to be born on organic farms. Parents may be normal. No synthetic feed or feed additives used. No antibiotics allopathic drugs, hormones, animals to be reared under care with adequate space for normal behavior, breeding, breeding through natural means and animals not to be tired or kept in cages, no relations, no genetically modified organism, no embryo transfer, etc. After that, the principles of standard food processing and handling. So in which the entire processing is to be done separately in space and time with no chances of mixing with non-organic. Ensure the integrity throughout the process, no mixing and controlling. Storage shall also be in compliance with the standard and no chemical fumigants are used all the ingredients in organic processing shall be certified organic in exceptional cases like 5% non-organic ingredients can be used to meet the nutritional or sensory requirements. Then the processing like physical, mechanical and biological additive adds and preservatives as per approved list. So then organic or natural words are different. Like ingredient and processing artificial flower in organic never used, in natural no, but in conventional may be used. Artificial colors in organic farming not allowed, but in conventional may be used. Artificial preservative never used in organic farming. Artificial fertilizer, artificial pesticide, uh, irradiation, 
and genetically engineered ingredients are not allowed in organic farming to that infection inspection on site visit to verify that the performance of an operation standard is in accordance with specific standard evaluation and verification of agricultural production processing and trading inspection requires complete documentation by producers processors and handlers findings are presented in a report to be certified after that inspection methods so visit of facilities field etc review of records and accounts production estimates etc assessment of production system interview with responsible person risk assessment part conversion and parallel production inspection for use of genetically engineered product use of off farm inputs analysis for residue testing if they require an inspection and study entire production processing then inspection and certification prices so most certifier are charging inspection and certification fees which based on the number of parts and days which involve uh, plus fees for issue of certificates so sometimes different fees are applied for small farmers and so and cooperatives large farmers and processor or the traders an example of fee structure of a certification body operating in india in sales like small farmers and the cooperatives small farmers and cooperatives in which first is travel and inspection that is 12000 per day second is report preparation 5000 per day and the certification that is also 5000 then the large farmers like travel and inspection that is 16800 report preparation 5000 per day and certification 5000 per day then the processor or traders that is travel and inspection 90200 per day report preparation 5000 per day certification that is 5000 per day after that what is certification so the certification means the farm and the farmers method inspected 
by an accredited organic certified group to ensure that they come uh, they comply with standard market market of kitchen of label of the of and in relation to the requirement of organic standard so that states about issues of certificates conditions and sections and then the third part is written confirmation that a process or product is in compliance with the certain standard certificate is granted the necessary third party assurance from producer to the consumer separated by distance then for uniform label assurance to the consumer that its concern healthy food has been addressed and for effective marketing so the effective marketing tool for emails credibility visibility transparency and traceability then the category for certification so there are four major categories they are first is cultivated crops second is processed products that may be single or multi ingredients third thing is wild collection then fourth is chain of study in which the traders storage transport or export and the new categories like notified in june 2015 in which the aquaculture and the livestock are considered then the types of certification in which foreign certification co certification and in uh, dgs certification so first is foreign certification in which the inspection and certification of for oriented organic products in developing countries are certified by the certification bodies which be based in importing countries the main advantage is that cost of certification are high due to frequent plant trip and western salaries then the co certification in which the local branches officers of western certification programs which conduct inspection along with local inspection staff who speak local language and familiar with local conditions however the inspection work is supervised by head office so this reduce the number of plant trips the indigenous certification in which the indigenous certification bodies can usually offer cheaper inspection fees as traveling is required and only local salaries have to be covered so they support the development of the tech market after that uh, what are the steps in certification process flow first is application for certification with certification agency second is in house screening by certification agency third is additional questions from certification agency this 
ऑर्गेनिक इंस्पेक्टर एजेंसीज फिफ्थ वन इज ऑर्गेनिक इंस्पेक्शन सिक्स इज ऑर्गेनिक इंस्पेक्शन रिपोर्ट टू सर्टिफिकेशन एजेंसी देन इन हाउस रिव्यू बाय सर्टिफिकेशन एजेंसी नेक्स्ट इज एड्रेसिंग ऑफ एनी non compliance issue then the certification issue and the last one is like grower producer releases the stock for sale with certification mark that is india organic logo after that what are the certification issues so organic certification is not of the pretex some of the instances of things of chemical based farming and factory farming practices also oppose formal certification so they see it as a way to drive the independent organic farmers out of business and to undermine the quality of organic food after that is the group certification so there is the majority of agriculture practitioners worldwide are small holders and are often located in remote areas remote area with long trip times from one place to another place so furthermore the overall revenue from their agricultural production is used to a small to allow a viable farm inspection by external inspection board for each farm so based on these observation an idea was generated to develop grower group certification where group certification refers to the certification of a group of producers who are in close proximity to one another whose farmers are uniform in most and are organized under one management and marketing system so that is ifam according to the npop the certification of an organized pop producers processors and and exports with similar and production system which are in geographical proximity after that the internet uh, internal control system ics so as for ifoam and n with definition the internal control system is a documented tcr system that allows the external certification bodies to delegate inspection of individual group members to a body which identify from within the office of the group so this can be legally recognized farmers association corporate ngos and exporters which project of a farmer group this means practice is growers 
compliance with the organic production rules according to defined procedures. So, organic certification board that really evaluate whether the ICA working well and affinity So the ICS guards the integrity of the organic quality of the products, particularly in small holder projects. So what are the ICS procedure? Like first is the registration of members, train marketing standard, implementation, risk management. Register group with certification agency, maintain each document, internal inspection, submission of submission of report to certifying agencies, then external inspection, compliance of deficiencies, yield estimates and grant of certification. So uh, this is all of the certification. In next, we will discuss about national program organic production technology. So today we discuss about what is organic farming and what is the accreditation and certification. And uh, in next, we will discuss about the national program on organic production. International control system. So, as per IFOAM and NPOP definition, internal control system, that is ICS, is a documented quality assurance system that allows the external certification bodies to delegate the inspection of individual group members to a body identify from within the operators of the group. So this can be legally recognized farmers, association, cooperatives, NGOs or exporters, project or a farmer group. This means in practice that a growth group basically controls all farmers for compliance with organic production rules according to defined procedures. So the organic certification body then mainly evaluates whether the ICS is working well and efficiently. So the ICS guards the integrity of the organic quality of the products particularly in small holder products. Then certification agencies in India, Bureau Varieties Certification India, BBCI, Private Limited Mumbai, EcoCert India, Private Limited Aurangabad, IMO Control Private Limited in Bangalore, Indian Organic Certification Agency, IndoCert in Kerala, and Lacon Quality Certification Private Limited Kerala. One Card Asia, 
एग्री सर्टिफिकेशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड राजस्थान एस जी एस इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हरियाणा कंट्रोल सर्टिफिकेशन मुंबई उत्तराखंड स्टेट ऑर्गेनिक सर्टिफिकेशन एजेंसी यू एस ओ सी ए देहरादून ए पी ओ एफ ऑर्गेनिक सर्टिफिकेशन एजेंसीज ए ओ सी ए बैंगलोर टेन राजस्थान ऑर्गेनिक सर्टिफिकेशन एजेंसी आर ओ सी ए जयपुर वैदिक ऑर्गेनिक सर्टिफिकेशन एजेंसी हैदराबाद Indian Society for Certification of Organic Products that is ISCOP Kambetur Food Cert India Private Limited Hyderabad Aditi Organic Certification Private Limited Bangalore and Chhattisgarh Certification Society CGCERT Raipur Tamil Nadu Organic Certification Department that is TNOCB Kambetur Intertech India Private Limited Delhi Madhya Pradesh State Organic Certification Agency MPSOCA Bhopal and Biosend India Private Limited Indore Export Inspection Agency E I A Delhi, Odisha State Certification Agency O S O C A Bhubaneswar, Natural Organic Certification Agro Private Limited Pune, Fair Cert Certification Services Private Limited Madhya Pradesh. So all the above certification bodies are accredited under. NPOP Ministry of Commerce Government of India Apex Body 4 NSPO Ministry of Agriculture Horticulture APEDA Coffee Board Tea Board Spices Board Coconut Development Board Cocoa and Cashew Nut Board are members in steering committee so they will be administering and developing national accreditation policy and programs to implement national organic program now international inspection and certification agencies first is the sakal in netherland ecosert france belgium germany IMO in Switzerland Organic Crop uh, Improvement Association in USA Demeter Association in USA Soil Association Soil Association Inspection in UK California Certified Organic Farmers CCOF accreditation agencies apeda agriculture and processed food products export development authority coffee board in bangalore 1942 tea board kolkata in 1953 spice board in kochi in 1987 coconut board kochi 1981 Cocoa and Cashew Nut Development Board, Kochi, in 1981. In turn, these accreditation agencies have inspection and certification agencies. These agencies directly contact farmers, organic input producers, processors, and marketing agencies. organic logo a trademark india organic will be granted on basis of compliance with national standard for organic production 
that is NSOP on by government of India. After that, organic market. The organic food production costs are higher in the development countries as organic farming is labor intensive and labor is costly in these countries. However, in country like India, where labor is abundant and is relatively cheap, organic farming is seen as a good cost effective solution to the increasing cost involved in chemical farming. Currently most of the organic farmers in India are still in the transition phase and hence their costs are still high as these farmers continue with organic farming the production costs are expected to reduce making India as one of the most important producers of organic food. Area as on 31st March 2020, total area under organic certification process Registered under NPOP is 3.67 million hectare. This includes 2.299 million hectare cultivable area and another 1.37 million hectare is for wild harvest collection. Among all states like Madhya Pradesh has covered largest area under organic certification which followed by Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, Odisha, Sikkim and Uttar Pradesh. The production. India produced around 2.75 million in 20. Uh, 2019 to 20 tons of certified organic products which includes all varieties of products. Madhya Pradesh is the largest producer among all different states. Export Total volume of export during 1920 was 6.389 lakh million ton and the realization was around INR 4,686 crore. So exported to different countries like USA, Europe, Canada, Switzerland, Australia, Japan, Israel, UAE, New Zealand, Vietnam, etc. So the major domestic markets in India are Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Mumbai, upper and urban middle class areas. Thank you.